What's up? My name is Ed Radigi, old school pro skateboarder, skated for Alva Skateboards back in the heyday. Uh, now I own a skateboard company called the Daggers, Dagger Skates. Um, started when I was 12, I'm 45 now and I'm still skating. My goal was to be a pro skateboarder and I, I skated every day to reach that goal. Finally, I got sponsored. My first sponsor was Powell Pronto. I was really stoked on Powell, you know, the biggest company in the world, so it was a real honor to be able to skate for those guys. But then I met Tony Alva, which um, Stacy Proto was a great guy and he was my coach. But Tony Alva was just, you know, I quit Powell to skate for Alva because of the lifestyle. I looked at Tony and Tony was in a rock band, punk band, had dreadlocks, and he was just he was just having fun skating. It was all about having fun and skating. So Powell was more of a jock thing. It was just more of a, it was just real serious over there in that camp. So um, I quit and skated for Alva, and um, it's the best thing I ever did. I probably built close to probably around, jeez, 20 skate parks and probably a hundred, maybe even 200 of these little mini ramps. Started in 2000, so probably 12 years now. I got a call from Dave Duncan, and I was hanging out at the Sublime House in Long Beach. And I uh, wasn't skating, and Dave Duncan called me up and goes, hey, um, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. He's like, well, we're building skate parks. And we built the block. That was the first skate park we built, the block. Started doing all the X games, gravity games. So one day I just had enough of the big carnival. And I just started doing it on my own. And I call it Dagger Build. When I started, there wasn't very many of us. Uh, when I went to high school, there was only one other guy that skated. When I first started skating, there was no money. Uh, pro contest was maybe a hundred bucks the first place. And Tony Hawk usually took that, or Christian Soy usually took that. So, you know, there was really no money. People always told me growing up in school, you know, teachers would tell me there's no future in it. You know, why do you skate? But um, now, it's like everybody skates, which is awesome. You go to the skate park and you have your cute mom with the little kids skating, you know, the whole vibe's completely different. I never would have imagined it would have been like this. The little kids are ripping, the new generation's insane to watch. They're just killing it. So, I've seen this wave of skateboarding and um, I'm really stoked how it turned out and where we're at on it. It's nice.